Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a number puzzle. So we're supposed to get 100 using five numbers. And those numbers are seven, 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 and one. We can only use four basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Obviously, the thumbnail didn't say that, I apologize, but that was a surprise. Anyways, there is also a method for solving this puzzle, but I call it a cheap solution. So anytime I presented this puzzle in my classrooms, I always presented the cheap solution first. So here's the cheap solution. We're going to put together 1, 7, and 7. So I'm going to use two of the 7s and make 177. And then I have two 7s left, and I'll make 77. And then I'll subtract and I'll get 100. Haha. -ha. That doesn't work because that is a cheap solution. No, no, you can't just do that. It's not allowed. But anyways, it's a solution if you think outside the box, right? So let's go ahead and now make it very arithmetical. So how do you do that? Using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division only. Not even exponentiation. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do 1 to the power 7 or 7 to the power 7, right? Maybe you do. I don't know. Anyways, there is also a game called 24, which you make 24 by using 4 numbers. That's also a fun game. Maybe later on, uh, we'll, I'll make some videos on that one. Anyways, let's go ahead and proceed with the solution. So the cheap solution is there. It's available, but it's just cheap. So we're going to find a smarter solution. First of all, I want to present some other approaches to obviously you don't get the solution right away right you try different things and then at some point you get the answer so that's how people do this most of the time so it doesn't always come to you right away so here's what i'm going to do if i multiply these two numbers i get 49 and then i can get 49 again so that brings me to the following seven times seven plus seven times seven plus one Yay, I used all the numbers. I used four sevens and one one. So that should hopefully give me the answer. But this is 49 plus 49 plus one. And that is equal to 99. Oh man, we're so close. But that's not the answer. So we have to be smarter than this. How can we do that? So here's what I'm going to do. Again, knowing the solution definitely helps. But I'd like to work backwards with what I know. So hopefully that will give you an idea. A lot of times, like, for example, the epsilon delta proofs, right? You've probably seen some videos from, from black pen, red pen, uh, right? So you have to work backwards. You kind of start with the solution and work backwards, and then you work forward. Anyways, that's the approach that I'm going to follow here. So here's how it goes. 100 can be written as 50 times 2, right? But I don't have those digits or numbers. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write the 40. I'm going to write the 50 as 49 plus 1 and the 2 as 1 plus 1. Great, that works, right? Because it's still 50 times 2 and this is equal to 100. Great. So it kind of brings me a little closer to the solution because 49 can be written as 7 times 7. Okay, great. Let's do that. Replace 49 with 7 times 7. And our expression still stays the same, right? Same value. It looks different, but the same value. Now, I need to come closer to what I have. I have the seven four times, right? And I only have one one. Here I am using three ones. So if they ask you to make 100 with two sevens and three ones, this would be a really good solution, right? You could do that, but we don't have that. We have more sevens than ones, and we have four sevens. So why not turn some of these ones into sevens, but still keep one of the ones. Make sense? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take out a factor out of seven. Well, seven is not a common factor, but who cares, right? We can still do that. So seven, if you take out a seven here, this is going to turn into inside the parentheses, seven plus one over seven. And what's going to happen to one plus one? Nothing. Just leave it like that. And is this still a hundred? You can check, distribute to 7. You'll get the original expression. Not the original one, but the previous one. So it'll work. Great. Now here's what we're going to do. Hocus pocus, 
Abra Kadabra. We're going to do mathematic. We'll take the 7. Instead of distributing over the 7 plus 1 over 7, we're going to distribute it over the 1 plus 1. And that's going to give us the following. 7 plus 1 over 7 is going to stay. And when you distribute the 7 over 1 plus 1, you're going to get 7 plus 7. And it's the same expression, so it's still equal to 100. And we're going to do the checking. But notice what happened. We have now four sevens and one one, so it satisfies the criteria, and we solved the problem. But let's go ahead and check it out. What is 7 plus 1 over 7? That is 50 over 7. And what is 7 plus 7? It is 14. 7 goes into 14 two times. Cancel out or cross cancel. 50 times 2 equals 100. That's how I work backwards to give you this solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and let me know if you like these puzzles. And bye-bye.